earlier a pensioner a pensioner means that uh, anyone working in a government institution either in the central government or the state government uh, the government of india disburses pension to the their retired employee so earlier uh, that all the pensioners used to have to go to the bank uh, every year to uh, for uh, giving them the life certificate life certificate means that they are alive so uh, they used to go to their bank and then bank or that uh, uh, office where that uh, pension is being disbursed it may be treasury or it may be the some offices so uh, uh, being a senior citizen they have some uh, physical uh, age age related uh, movement issues and other issues so that the prime minister uh, asked us to look into the viability of uh, the um, helping these senior citizens uh, whether they their life certificate can be made without going to the bank or to the office or to the treasury so we we use the technology of biometrics uh, uh, and we can every indian citizens uh, resident indian citizens their biometric has been captured and being stored by the uidi uh, that is uh, they are the custodians of uh, biometric uh, its uh, fingerprints or the retina something else so we we uh, we came into the contact with the uid officials how to get that thing and uh, then with the uh, department of uh, personals and pensions who was the, the for who is that uh, ministry responsible for uh, disbursing of the pension so ultimately it came to that jeevan praman now uh, so we we gave the word jeevan praman like we the, the person is alive so what it happens like a person has to uh, need not go to the bank they need a device they 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 need a device that is a biometric device and once that bio, he puts his fingers or the retina uh, to the device that biometrics is being captured along with the aadhar number that's a 12 digit aadhar number it goes up to the uidi there it it gets matched with the person's uh, aadhar number in the biometric and then the system gets the response yes or no if it is yes means the biometric has matched and then Uh, it proves that a person is alive so th- that that way that way the technology is there so uh, first i would like to just share some ppt slides and then uh, i will th- that that will help me explain uh, the uh, thing more uh, appropriately if you get basically it is meant for uh, all the senior citizens now uh, there are uh, this project has been implemented uh, since the 2014 So 2014, uh, that uh, PM asked to get the thing done. So basically, I would like to just share the workflow. What happens? This is this is CSU centers. This is all the places where any any senior citizen go and go, and uh, next to their doorstep. They need not be in their their own city where that bank is there. They can be in anywhere in the globe. Maybe US, maybe Europe, maybe Australia, maybe in India, or maybe any place. they need not be in the city where the bank is there so these are the places where they can go that is nilit center is all uh, this is a bank and epfo center this is nic office and they can do it from their home they can do it by using their pc and the mobile so using these places they can log on to the jeevan praman portal from there that dlc from this place they can either go to the bank through through jeevan praman portal or This is a DPD office or post offices, EPF, EPFO, this is Employee Provident Fund offices, or the any state government. Even state government uh, is also uh, has also onboarded onto the system. So for state government employees, this is called the Treasury. Uh, that uh, uh, anyone anyone in your uh, relatives or nears and dears who have in the state government or the central government, they get the pension through the uh, Treasury or Subtreasury. So. or here they have to go to physically to all these places now through from any of their centers they can log on to the jeevan praman portal 
and from given program portal they can get their uh, uh, pensions disbursed so pda is pension disbursing authority and dlc is digital life certificate now i will again show you the thing it, this is the pensioner he he approaches either through the window a pc device or a android device any mobile phone from window or android device they go to the internet from internet internet means this is the jeevan praman portal internet they 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 go to the jeevan praman portal either if they will going through the android they will go to the app if they are going to the window then they will go to the uh, window screen from these two devices they go connect to the database server from database center either from the nic network this is the uh, government of india network from there they reach to the uh, these passing through a device they reach to the uidi unique identification uh, this uidi is the custodian of the biometric uh, uh, biometric of the all the indian uh, citizens so from here that uh, they get the uh, biometric match if the biometric matches they come back and they they get that uh, yes or no if they receives yes then that uh, biometric has matched once the biometric has matched uh, the person is alive so they pushes the data uh, to the of the pensioners either to the bank bank or to the dpd office the district pension disbursing officer of offices or the post office or epf employees provident fund office or the state government treasury and then the bank or the dpd office or the post office or epf or any of the pension disbursing offices they releases the pension pension to the pensioners uh, bank account or the that uh, saving account so the person uh, pension need not go to this place now i i am i am coming to this place till till date uh, that biometric and that biometric uh, captured biometric and aadhar number uh, it goes to the uidi Uh, while traveling, uh, we we encrypt that biometric uh, captured biometric and the uh, pensioner's basic detail. Uh, it gets decrypted at the UIDI office. Uh, we have we have the arrangements with the UIDI that whatever being transferred from uh, NIC server to the UIDI in back, it is being encrypted and decrypted. Now the UIDI reverts back with that yes or no. Once it is once it is reverted, yes, means that person uh, credential has been verified. Then uh, we send the other basic details of the pensioner so while it is being captured in the uh, app or in the uh, window device. That is the uh, pensioner's uh, uh, saving bank number, then the pensioner's bank detail, uh, then uh, PPO number. and that uh, name of the person pension disbursing authority and the department which he that pensioner is working all these data once it is the uh, once it is the verified from the uidi is sent to the sftp server what is sftp this is a secured file transfer protocol we are using so we have made a uh, sftp server at our end and we have given a credential to each and every bank uh, to our sftp server so what happens once suppose a person is uh, a person from the state bank of india has got their uh, pension verified so the data goes to the state bank of india state bank of india sftp uh, secure the storage suppose the person from the canada bank has got their uh, 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 pension uh, detail so once it is verified from the uidi we, we send it to the storage area of canada bank what happens in the midnight those bank servers reconnect to our uh, sftp server they get all the uh, all the pensioners details what has been posted on a particular day from the morning 0 hours to the night 12 hours midnight 12 24 hours they pull the, all the data onto their server then uh, they match again one to one like the sbi account number pensioners uh, pensioners details with their own server once all those data all those uh, details matches so the bank 
or the any person pension disbursing or the post offices or the treasury they they just check in their database that the pensioners pensioners details has been verified so they allow the pensioners to get their pensions automatically into their branch so that that is uh, that that's what no need to visit pda office pension disbursing digitization cuts down logistic hurdles so a person need not go to the bank or then put a signature over there then the bank officers or any 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 office post officers this is helpful for the aged or informed persons any anyone having a disability problem or movement problem it is very helpful this is no compromise with the integrity of the process so a person is alive that is being proved that online from the biometric uh, and then persons can access their submitted life certificate persons can also see once that life certificate has been submitted with all those data which is being pushed to the respective banks or post offices sftp servers that even persons can see there that, that uh, in their email id uh, that uh, their life certificate has been made so this is the, just the key the highlight now these are some of the terminology i would like what who are the pensioners pensioners are central or state government any public sector undertaking or autonomous body even autonomous body uh, that uh, all those pensioners we are taking here this pension sanctioning authority this central or state government organization pso autonomous they are pension sanctioned that where the pensioner has worked now the pension disbursing authority who are the pension disbursing all these pensioning sanctioning authorities are disbursing their pensions to the banks post offices state utilities government of treasuries or government organizations these are the pds now th- this is all uh, same thing i have told uh, now again this is just 4.41 crore pensioners have registered and again 71.90 pensioners have got their pensions last year this year again around 30 lakhs it that normally this uh, pensioning process uh, life certificate process starts from the month of november november december and january so today is 14th day of the november and around 30 lakhs have already used our uh, system uh, these are the, these have already shown it again given from architecture i have shown this is again i have shown these are some of the uh, information like in the first year 2014 14 very less around 40 lakhs then it moves up to you can see the graph how it is going uh, every year it is, it is moving up so more and more persons are getting uh, on boarded on, onto our system now on our system we can i can show you that previous years on the uh, november 2020 around in a particular day 4 lakhs 27000 pensioners got their pensions or dlc done in a particular day on a particular day this is, this is all the 29th of uh, uh, 29th of november so on a particular day 4 lakh 27108 pensions got their pensions this is just a, this is, i am telling you the peak you can you can see from the graph now our wise a particular moment let us say at 12 o'clock on a particular day around 94000 persons pensioners got their system so the, the, the graph is showing that the system is very robust uh, on a particular moment the system is being able to handle 94 uh, 94000 uh, pensioners on a particular moment then these are some sanctioning authorities now 1819 or 1920 this is year wise graph that right, epf this is employee provident fund organization this is basically meant for the uh, persons who are in the pri- private sector uh, not private sector this is basically uh, psu now defense defense officials like uh, our armed forces persons every year see 88 this is how much 87 872000 now 8 lakh 83000 this is again the previous year data uh, from the up to december again central government 3 lakh 78000 now the next year it moves up to 4 lakh 26000 state government railways so these these are the like statistics you can see how that people are getting benefited now these are some of the places the common service center this is all available across india in even uh, districts or the blocks or talukas or even in the uh, your your nearby cyber cafes so even uh, 
we are we are now trying to make the india post india post that uh, again that ba- new bank has uh, government uh, has of india has made the post office as the uh, uh, as the bank so india post payment bank we have already integrated them again that one add on thing uh, earlier we are making just to uh, biometric and the retina these are two now uh, we are already uh, tested with the facial recognition system a person's face uh, which has been uh, captured during the time of registration of the aadhar any any person whose aadhar has been prepared uh, uh, that even f- picture has been taken so facial recognition is uh, we have already tested and it is in the pilot uh, project pilot basis uh, it's uh, already uh, tested that even uh, from face uh, that uh, it, it is getting uh, verified so it's uh, basically uh, we try to make that uh, life of uh, pensioners uh, they are they are uh, happy lot even uh, these things uh, we are trying to get uh, uh, done for the various other uh, type of pensions like uh, many state governments are giving disability payments disability pension uh some uh, states they are giving uh, uh, old age pension like not this, uh, what i have uh, discussed is what the government i am telling what the non government many of the state governments are giving pension to the disability pensions to their citizens then the senior senior citizen pension uh, to their residents then different types of pensions as government so we are trying to they have already asked us to use this technology uh into their system to disperse it so that any uh, they want to plug that leakages leakages of the government money uh, to the unwanted uh, persons who are not in the system and they are getting benefit out of that so through this uh, they are trying to plug it and uh, till date what we have uh, input that we have saved around uh, 500 to 600 crores that unnecessarily that, uh, that amount has the government is getting those amounts uh, uh, saved because that uh, pill fridges has been stopped and these are the like uh, prerequisite uh, that is the aadhar number is a must pensioners must have a existing mobile number some some mobile number uh, they, they need it because otherwise uh, that otp comes into the mobile so it need not be a pensioner like It's a relative's a mobile number just to just to have verified. Then registration of the Aadhaar number is pensioning this person in bank. Like any bank or something, their uh, Aadhaar number must be registered there also. Like it's not one way that uh, you come and uh, give your Aadhaar number to the bank. No, even your banks or the post offices or the treasuries must have your Aadhaar number in their database also. This is basically. a verification process so that any unwanted person should not get a benefit of the system this is just a system requirement it's a, it's a, for windows it's of windows 7 and this dot net framework then some registered biometric device uh, this, this should be stqc certified we have some standard making this again ministry is one of the organization this standard testing and quality control so any biometric device should not work and the biometric device should have a stqc certified this rd is registered device that biometric device should have been registered it's not like uh, you get the uh, stuff from any of any any uh, looker and then uh, no is that biometric just to make it authentic that uh, whatever that biometric is being moving from uh, end to end from a personal uh, mobile or desktop to the uid it should be it should it should be known known device and then the internet connectivity these are the for windows again for android that android version 5 and 5.0 again the device should be stqc rd is registered device and internet connection and these are the very simple you go to the portal jeevanpraman.gov.in there you will get a download option and from there you can you can get that uh, device uh, downloaded either for the android or the uh, for windows and from there you can uh, you can implement it on your local pc you need not go to the cyber if you have a uh, pc tab uh, android device at your home or this even 
laptop or pc at your home you do not even go to the bank also so this is all uh, i have to share